First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all reverence to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is going to be just a quick video uh, update on the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Also, I want to give salutations to the Akim and the apostles and the elders, particularly of Great Millstone, for uh, pushing this truth uh, week in and out. There's a new update. Uh, this is a quick article I'm going to read. And of course, as usual, we're going to filter it through the scriptures. There, This man says, Ex-cop busted with nine guns near White House. Says he's implanted with the CIA chip. So let's read the article here. A man who served as a Memphis police officer before leaving the department for mental uh, health reasons was busted outside of the White House with an assortment of weapons and a strange alibi over the weekend. Timothy J. Bates was confronted by members of the Secret Service when it appeared that he was urinated on the corner of 17th Street Northwest and Pennsylvania Avenue on Sunday, September the 24th. He was soon confessed that he was carrying arms in his vehicle, but not before explaining that he had shown up to the nation's capital to meet up with Defense Secretary James Mattis and NSA Director Mike Rogers to receive a reward promised him and to have a chip removed from his head in the process. So this man had a chip in his head. According to Bates, the chip, which he claims he received as a member of a CIA program that offered him $28.7 million, was causing him headaches and convulsions. Upon searching Bates', Bates car, the Secret Service agents discover pistols, assault rifles and a machine gun amongst among an arsenal of nine guns. He also had numerous rounds of ammo, knives, and brass knuckles. Bates, 37, was arrested and taken for a sec second mental health evaluation this year. The former 13-year police veteran will be charged with federal and state weapons felonies. The source for this is uh, NewYorkDailyNews.com. Um, represented from a Vlad TV, which is uh, predominantly a, a hip hop uh, website or blog. So, the mark of the beast has been here for a long time because who knows when he joins? And of course, what they'll do to try to sweep this under the rug, they want to make it so that this man has mental issues. He can't make all of this stuff up. Now, I'm just going to. Go to this quick scripture and um, let you know what time we're in. So uh, the Odiakim out there, keep pushing this thing. Um, we at the end of this. Uh, the mark of the beast is here. The end of this, this, this so-called white man, um, it, it, this is his time. The so-called white man, you are the Edomites and the true Israelites are the so-called African Americans, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans. And... Um, it's going to be our turn when our big brother, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his real name is Yahweh Shai. Uh, the father's name is Yahweh. This is the book of Revelations 13. And I'll start at 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Verse 15, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Like this, uh, this Edomite took it and he thinks he's going to be able to remove it. it don't matter he already took the mark so uh timothy bates timothy j bates and he did a deal with i guess uh you know the defense some you know the pentagon secretary james mattis he's the defense secretary of the united states and the and the say is also involved with this and of course they what their plan is this to try to sweep this under the rug as if he's just crazy or something but he was obviously a 13-year police veteran he didn't just lose his mind out of nowhere but this is the prophecies. This is the times that we in. So he had it actually in his forehead, and now he's trying to come to back to Esau because they paid him twenty eight million dollars. 
you jakes out there that's going to take it, they ain't going to pay you that shit. They're going to just tell you, take it, or, you know, we're going to cut off your welfare, and y'all going to be lined up to take it anyway, the two-thirds at least. The elect, the hopeful elect will have uh, the, the, the spiritual insight not to take this man's mark, because if you do take it, uh, you will be put to death. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell save that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of this name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So if you have any kind of wisdom, you won't take it. And if you are into the scriptures, as you should be, uh, you will be wise not to take it, because if you take it, and you're not going to be like what Esau, he thought, he said, they're going to remove it. So you Jake's thinking that you're going to be able to do that. Once you take it, you're done. Uh, with that, once again, all praises to your how about Shimmy I was shy. Baraka to your how about Shimmy I was shy. We are at the end of this thing. The World War Three is, is kicking in. Uh this this clown, uh Trump is the, the machine uh that the most high is pardoning the spirit the same way he did with Pharaoh to make these ridiculous claims and ultimately declare war in North Korea. And they're gonna respond. Russia's going to respond. China's going to respond. Iran is popping off the nuclear missiles. They're getting ready. Everybody's gearing up for this World War III, and this is the final world. So, Odiakium, keep pushing this thing. Keep going hard on Esau. And once again, uh, I want to give uh, great reverences to the apostles of uh, Great Millstone or the elders. Uh, with that, I'll say Shalom.